hello there you're welcome in this video we're going to be solving this equation we're going to be finding the value of t so we have t raised to the power of t is equal to 33. this is very interesting now let's try some integers raised to the power of the same integers we have t raised to the power of t so let's try one raised to the power of one this is what one okay let's try two raised to the power of the same number two this is what four We've still not gotten to 33. Okay. What about 3 raised to the power of 3? This is 27. And what about 4 raised to the power of 4? This is this is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, which is 256. And this is way more than what 33. What does this tell you? That the value of t here will lie between 3 and 4. Because 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27, not up to 33. But 4 raised to the power of 4 is 256, which is more than 33. So again, the value of t will lie between what? Will lie between 4 and 3. So at least this is giving us a picture of what our answer will look like. What I'll do first is to take the natural logarithm of both sides because we have an exponent of t here here so let's take the natural logarithm of both sides that's a good start right okay so it's going to be what lin t raised to the power of t is equal to what lin 33 now from one of the laws of logarithm if you have say log a raised to the power of b this can be written as what well. this b here can be used to multiply the logarithm so you have b log a here now we're going to be doing the same thing here. So this t will be dropped, become the coefficient of the natural logarithm. So it's going to be what? t ln t is equal to what? ln 33. Now we can't just find the value of t here because we have t and we have ln t. So the thing that will help us out in getting the value of t is bringing up the Lambert W function. Again, let me say that. The Lambert W function. So let me write it here, Lambert W function. So this function is given by W bracket x e raised to the power of x. This is equal to what? x. So this Lambert W function tells us that if the coefficient of this function e raised to the power of the same value you have in the coefficient as you can see here x is here x is also here so when you apply the lambert w function to this kind of um, expression it's going to be equal to what as you have in this case x so because x is here and here as well if you apply the lambert w function you are going to get x it also means that if you apply the lambert w function where you have 3 e with power of 3 as you can see the coefficient here is 3 and this is 3 apply the lambda w function you are also going to get what three so what will help us in getting the value of t is to apply the lambda w function here but the little challenge we have is that this is lean and not e lean and e are inverse functions by the way so how do we now introduce e into this equation so we can apply the lambda w function good question now, I want you to know that if you have e ln x, for instance, this is equal to x. Why is that so? Do you know that I can rewrite this as e log x base e? This is what we call natural log because it has a base of e. So what this means is that because the base here is e for the logarithm and the common or the general base here is what e, they are inverse functions and they can cancel out so this will undo this and that gives you what x what does this mean it means that when i come to this our equation i can write t as what e lin t because this natural logarithm will get rid of this e here and that gives you what t which we have here so let's replace t with what e raised to the power of what lin t because I want to introduce E into the equation so we can apply the Lambert W function. I hope that makes sense. So instead of T lin T, I'm going to be writing what? Let me just write the equation here again. T lin T 
is equal to what lane 33 let's change t and replace it with what e raised to the power of lane t and then lane t here which is equal to what lane 33 but i need to rewrite this so that it will help us to correctly apply the lambda w function let me start by writing lane t of course you can because they are commutative so lane t can come first it doesn't change anything then e lane t is equal to what lane 33 see look at lane t here the coefficient of e same as the power of e so we can apply the lambda w function okay so let's apply it. lambda w function of lin t e raised to the power of lin t is equal to do the same thing here again left hand side right hand side lin what 33 very good from lambda w function as i said before x e raised to the power of x is equal to what x so what this means is that if you apply the lambda w function here this everything here will be what equal to what lin t because there's a lin t as the coefficient of e and there's a lin t as the power of e yes so this is a beautiful thing of, of using the lambda w function so here i'm going to have what lin t is equal to what the lambda w function of what lin 33 beautiful i just have t here so it'll be easy to get the value of t what am i going to do easy i'm going to apply e to both sides and i told you that e and lin they are what inverse function so if i want to get rid of this natural logarithm i'll apply e to both sides that would be e raised to the power of what lin t is equal to e raised to the power of what the lambda w function of what lin 33 okay i told you before this lin and this e the inverse function they cancel out so t will be equal to what e raised to the power of lambda w function into bracket lin 33 so this is the value of t that would satisfy the original equation if you put this out in a calculator you are going to get a value between three and four i need you to try it out and put the answer in the comment section all right thank you it's been a wonderful time having this video do like and share this video to your friends and family